Hi, my name is Sandy Jaleski and I'm one of the art teachers at the high school. Um, I'm going to be telling you about the courses that you can take here, um, starting with Studio A or Media A and Studio B or Media B to fulfill your New York State arts requirement. In Studio A, we focus mostly on drawing. Um, we do some contour line drawing and um, cross contour line drawing. And if you were enrolled in Media A, there would be a digital component that we would do on the computer in order to do an animation like the one that you see. We do a lot of drawing from observation. We do a sculpture project, usually out of paper mache. And sometimes we're lucky enough to have time to animate that sculpture. And we do a painting project, which focuses on color theory. In Studio B and Media B, we focus on a variety of projects, one being an abstract collage project that's done on the computer. We also do a ceramics project, which students really love, a perspective project, we also do a printmaking project in that class. You can take a five unit sequence in art if you would prefer. You would have to take both studio classes or media classes, which are required. Then you would take an additional four units of the following courses that we offer. Photography, advanced photography, digital art, advanced digital art, illustration, drawing and painting, advanced drawing and painting, sculpture, ceramics, and advanced ceramics and sculpture. There is a visual for you to see the map of our courses and how they're laid out. The larger rectangles are full year courses, represent full year courses, and the smaller rectangles are half year courses. So photography is a half year course, ceramics is a full year course. In photography class, we get to do a lot of stuff. Kids really enjoy this class. We get to go outside. We use the digital SLR cameras um, and we learn how to do a little bit of editing on the computer. It's a lot of fun. In advanced photography, you take all the skills you learned in photography class and you use them to, to make more digital um, photographs, but we also get to use the dark room and learn how to use film, which is really fun. And we have a beautiful new classroom that you will all be able to enjoy um, with a dark room. Digital art is artwork made on the computer using Adobe Photoshop and possibly Illustrator to create digital pieces. Advanced digital art would take the skills you learned in that class and you could use utilize them to make more complex images. Illustration is usually geared towards some type of commercial work. It's drawing but it's with a purpose such as making a book cover or a CD cover or a poster. Drawing and painting deals primarily with observing. We focus a lot on drawing in the beginning of the year and painting more towards the end of the year. Advanced drawing and painting is offered for college credit if you were interested in going on in those art classes. Sculpture class is um, involving three-dimensional work in a variety of materials. This is a book that has been carved into and ceramics, which is clay. And you can see there is a wide variety of different types of vessels that are in this slide. And then you can take advanced ceramics or sculpture, um, which is also offered for college credit. And you would be given the opportunity to, to make work based on your ideas using the skills you've learned in all your other classes. So where do you go from here? Well, there are lots of places that um, students have gone to college for art. This, is, um, this page has some pictures of students who attended Portfolio Day, which is a, an opportunity for students to share their work with college representatives, get advice, um, compliments, 
Um, and, you know, these students, a lot of these students have gone on to, to into the field. Everybody is looking for creative people at this point because we are the innovators. And here are just some pictures of all the fun that we have at school here um, and some of the variety of different things we've gotten to do. This is all photography class. This is drawing class. Drawing outside is always wonderful in the spring. And we have taken field trips to the Jack Shaman Gallery for many years and students really enjoy getting to see what artwork is up in our local gallery. Lots of students who spend a lot of time in our classrooms. There's a lot of ways that you can express yourself in the high school art program. We really hope that you would like to join us. And um, you can check out some of the other work on the art department website. And um, this is also just to remind you that in order to fulfill the New York State arts requirement, you can take either art, music, or technology. I hope to um, get to meet you and good luck choosing your classes and we will see you at the high school.